that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, yeah, let's just say his success will continue. We've got Durant, Evan Booker out there with MP. Then there's Grayson Allen, and it's Nurkic in at the five. That's the group starting the second half for Frank Vogel. Shots good by Booker. Booker calls the play, and Booker executes to perfection. The Grizzlies trail by 10. Oh, Richard, the speed with which Devin Booker has accumulated points in his career is absolutely stunning. Yeah, he's the sixth youngest player to hit 12,000 career points. And trust me, that list has Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. I mean, this guy is a true natural scorer. Putting the ball in the hoop is like second nature for Devin Booker. MP, no good. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Here's Jackson. No good from 11 feet. Suns lead by 10. And Booker kicks to MP. And Nurkic has it in the corner. Dishes it to Booker. Shot clock at five. Outside for Durant. And a miss there on the triple. And they have been cold coming out of the break. Only getting one of their first four shots to drop this half. Got to pick it up. Here's Morant. Drops it in from 14 Sean feet away. Morant's got to back down to single digits for the Grizzlies. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Loudest section in the arena gets free t-shirts. check out this year's contenders for the dunk contest we get a look at some of the showmen the best showmen in the nba and with the names on that list you know we're going to have a crazy competition this year well you look at jackson some might say he's a long shot at this point but you never know hey stranger things have happened and we'll just have to wait and see and so that's the breakdown as it currently stands. We'll be keeping you all updated with the latest info and, of course, our final list of contestants as we get closer. Yeah, and if they don't invite me to be a judge, I I'm still going. Here's Morant. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. I'm out called the Grizzlies. He's averaging 19 points per game, five rebounds, and three assists. Guys, he's a difference maker off the bench. Steps into that front court and more than holds his own. He gives them a jolt of energy down low every time he comes into the game. That's something any coach loves to have. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. There's a lot of Jackson, an emphatic LU champ. 
love watching Jackson on the receiving end of the alley-oops. He definitely won the athletic lottery. It's hard to quantify how impactful Jaron Jackson Jr. is on D. He does so much. Yeah, the rim protection is elite. That's why he was defensive player of the year, Greg. But he can also switch out on screens and not look lost. The sky is the limit for him defensively. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Now, the Grizzlies' backcourt is in the conversation for the best starting backcourt in the league. Desmond Bain says Ja is obviously the focus, and that's why I feel like we're a good combo. If they want to sell out on him and pack in the paint, and that leaves me open on the perimeter. High damage. Kevin, back to you. And he does a lot of damage. David thanks a great tandem indeed. The Grizzlies trail by five. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Now Morant. Driving to the basket. And Durant sends it back. This will blow. His basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. First team foul. Memphis shooting their first free throw tonight. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. Bradley Beals checked in for Grayson Allen. Then for the Grizzlies, Brandon Clark comes in for Jaron Jackson, and Smart subbed in for Williams. And that one falls for Jackson. 149 left in the third quarter. And so Booker will bring it up for the Sun. They've led by as much as 10. Good! Unsurprisingly savvy pass by Booker, setting another guy up for success instead of forcing a shot. Morant passes to Clark. Outside, Bain shoots the three, drills the three-pointer. Bain's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Memphis. Oh, great ball movement there. Morant against MP. Booker outside. KD looking around. And the Suns tack on two more. In the mid-range, Durant is deadly as ever. Easy money sniper putting up a little silky jumper. Morant passes to Clark. Now Bain. He's covered by Beal. Bain kicks to Smart. Memphis moving that ball around. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And that is an absolute heartbreaker of a turnover. In a close game like this, that might be enough to impact how it ends. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic. Blaise O'Neal comes in for Kevin Durant. And Gordon subbed in for MP. Now here's Booker, 11 points in the game. Eubanks finds Beal. Booker outside, just five on the clock. Nailed from three-point land. Booker's got eight here in the quarter. He has been a key factor for them offensively, scoring with consistency. Morant against Booker. Morant outside. Three-pointer. Can't hit that one. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for Phoenix. He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. We've got more in store for you right after this. Well, we have the chance now, folks. Let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. 
and definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the money. He'll be proud of that one. Bigs love when their passing skills are noticed. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. Marcus Smart is out there with Luke Kennard. And there's Jackson. Then it's Brandon Clark. And it's Stevens in at the small forward. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Assisted. Stevens got the first pass as we get going in the fourth for the Grizzlies. KD with it. Count that one. And the Suns lead by six. Showing the grit. KD is no stranger to physical defense. Deal with the steal. And now the Suns, a fast break. Count that bucket. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? Smart against Beal. Smart deciding where to go with it. Here's Stevens. Outside for Jackson. There's the pass to Clark. Six to shoot. Fires the three. That's in. And the second lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Jackson. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Outside, Beal. From deep three-point land. Grizzlies with the rebound. Clark's got his fourth rebound in this one. Smart on the wing. Pass to Jackson. Now, here's Kennard. The shot that time, not on target. Good work defensively by KD. Eubanks, the pass to Gordon. Passes it to Beal. Back to Gordon. Takes the three. That shot is off. The Grizzlies trail by five. Pass to Smart. And here's Kennard. Now here's Smart. Clark outside. Puts up a deep three. It's rebounded by Durant. Durant's got four rebounds now tonight. O'Neal kicks to Gordon. Outside Durant. Fires from deep. Kevin Durant pulls up. Money on the three. Okay, I'm going to tell you something that everyone knows or should know. When Durant turns it on, there is no slowing him down. That's how lethal of a score he is in NBA history. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Substitution here for Phoenix. News of Norkish. He's checked in for Eubanks. Grayson Allen comes in for Royce O'Neal. 
MPs checked in for Gordon, and it's Booker in for Bradley Beal. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, Taylor Jenkins just reviewed his plan with his team. Now, he had some pros and cons. He said, I like our play inside. Well, what's happening at the arc, fellas? we got to start making some shots. He needs more production from the outside. Guys. Thanks, David. Suns lean by eight. To the inside. Durant. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Durant's got seven points for the quarter. So polished from the interior. Durant is terrific at utilizing his physical advantages down on the block. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Sun. The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. And also, they took advantage of their quickness got inside and blew through the open lanes. Great job of attacking the paint. Good on the first, and that brings them within single digits. In an era where so many point guards are three-point shooters, Ja Morant, you know what? This man is built different. He's more of a throwback. Ja wants to apply pressure by driving, not shooting threes. No free throws, good from Morant. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's the two drop. And Haiti, the bucket on the assist from Booker. Haiti's got the lead up to 10 now for the Suns. Now, here's Morant for three. The Grizzlies with another miss. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. And Durant gets double team. Nobody near Allen. Another three for Phoenix. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Suns. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but John I'd Moran. say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and look at the stats, just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for KD. And he's been a well-oiled machine on offense, keeping things simple on this end, getting the looks that he wanted, knocking him down. Now Allen, following the miss by John Morant from deep. Booker outside. Norkic in the post, guarded by Bain. They get the rebound. Another one falls for Phoenix. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Williams from outside. Phoenix grabs the miss. Here's MP. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Keeping the pressure on that defense. MP is just unrelenting. At the line for Phoenix. MP. Two shots. And he makes the first. And both free throws good for MP. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in.
We'll see you next time.